why? 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 Why does this keep happening? Why do people keep asking about this? Why do people keep wanting this to be a thing? Why do so many people go, Hey man, wouldn't it be cool if Yu Yu Hakusho were remade? No! Why? Yu Yu Hakusho was made! It's fine! Why do you always have to want to remake everything? Honestly, I thought everyone fucking hated remakes. Like, now all of a sudden, but for some reason, with like a handful of fucking anime, people go, Yeah, that definitely needs to be remade. Why? I, I don't understand the thought process of, like, why you want to see something like Yu Yu Hakusho remade. And if you're one of the many, many saner people on the planet who goes, Who the hell is asking for a Yu Yu Hakusho remake? A lot of people, I know. Because every time fucking Yu Yu Hakusho comes up in conversation, I always have somebody. Somebody ask me, Wouldn't it be cool if Yu Yu Hakusho remade? Hey, Zeon, what would you think about a Yu Yu Hakusho remake? <sighs> and, I, and I see other people bring it up online. Like, like, wouldn't it be great if Yu Yu Hakusho were remade? No. No, it wouldn't be good. I mean, the the like the remake might be good, but like it does it's something that doesn't need to exist. And I don't know why so many people are so adamant about like, yeah, no, like remake Yu Yu Hakusho. And whenever I like, question why they want to see this happen, I only ever see two responses to this. The first being, oh well they could do it in new animation. And two well, they could follow the manga more closely. Okay. So, I don't understand people like, what, what is what people say? Like, oh, it needs to be new animation. It needs to be newer animation. Like, Yu Yu Hakusho was like made in like the 90s. Like the mid-90s. It looks fine. It doesn't look bad. Like, like, like at worst, like the series looks kind of meh in the early episodes because it was following closer to Tagashi style. Once the action shit starts, uh, they start shifting the art style to something... That more complemented an action aesthetic, you know, and I don't know why so many people like seem to think like, oh yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho, this show totally needs a needs a remake because totally it doesn't visually hold up. And I can think of like so many reasons why I wouldn't want one. Because first off, like if Yu Yu Hakusho were just a bad adaptation, like if this were like what's happening to Berserk right now, yeah, yeah, like totally remake Yu Yu Hakusho if Yu Yu Hakusho had a shit adaptation, but. Yu Yu Hakusho has a great adaptation. It's a really good anime. I would say it's my personal favorite shonen fucking action series. So it boggles my mind when I see people going like, Yeah, man, Yu Yu Hakusho should be remade. Like, why? Like, like it has like a really good dub. It has, uh, like, you know, like, you know, the Japanese audios. Fine. Uh, I, I prefer the dub. Whatever. And, you know, it's like the animation, I think, still really holds up. You know, it's not even like, it's not even like, um, with, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, where, like, you know, that's 19, 1979, and it moves at, like, five frames a second, and that series, you know, had to work within its limitations to create really nice-looking artwork as opposed to fluid animation. Yu Yu Hakusho had really nice-looking animation and great character designs, and it had great direction, too. Like, one of my favorite directors actually worked on this, uh, Akiu Kishimbo, and he's... Like, you know, his fingerprints are, like, all over key episodes of that show. And it looks fantastic. And, you know, if you get a remake made, uh, if you get a remake made, like, you might not get that kind of talent. I mean, look what happened with Dragon Ball Super. Like, we bring Dragon Ball Super back, and it's just, like, you know, it's been a com complete clusterfuck of a, pr of a production. You bring back uh, Berserk, it's been a complete cr uh, clusterfuck of a production. You bring back Sailor Moon. It took them three fucking seasons to get the fucking hang of Sailor Moon and actually, like, do that shit right. I don't see, like, how Yu Yu Hakusho is going to benefit from newer animation. The only real difference I'm going to see is, like, oh, cool, like, you know, it'll be digi-paint instead of cell animation. Oh, there'll be, like, like, you know, digital, like, visual, uh, like, uh, effects and whatnot instead of, like, hand-drawn, like, like, you know, like, spear gun stuff. Now the spear gun could be CGI. I don't, I don't understand what people are really expecting from a remake visually. You know, that, that they think they're not going to get from the original. And once again, you run to this uh, this issue of, you know, what if it has a bad production team? What if it has a bad, you know, showrunner? What if it doesn't even have a showrunner? What if it has shitty storyboarding? Because the original Yu Yu Hakusho is really well storyboarded most of the time. Um, you know, it had like, had a lot of great talent behind it. If it. What if this new series just doesn't have the talent behind it? Um, as for the, you know, oh, well, you know, this time it could follow the manga more closely. 
Yu Yu Hakusho is already like a 90% accurate adaptation of the manga. Like, you know, it cuts out some of the ghost bullshit, it changes a few minor details here and there, it adds in George the fucking, uh, uh Oni, you know, like, you know, Kuenma's little, you know, buddy. Uh, like, there's so, so many, like, minor, like, little changes that have been made from the, its adaptation from manga to anime. I don't see, like, just changing that, changing those few things back to, uh, to follow what was in the manga is going to vastly improve or create a unique enough experience. Because, yes, okay, so, so, so you changed, like, the 10% that the original anime changed to follow the manga. Okay, well, now you have, like, an anime that is 90% the same uh, as one that already exists, except now it's in DigiPaint, and it may have production issues or may not be as... Because, you know, you can't, like, like look back, like, you know, with Yu Yu Hakusho, it's already been made. The original Yu Yu Hakusho is made. We already know what that final product is. So, you know, it sets a pretty good bar. And very few shows really, like, have, like, a good solid production, you know, especially because this is going to be, like, a long-running production, too. You can't just knock a 26-episode season out of this. You're going to have to make this long-running production... Uh, and the longer a show goes, the more likely, you know, it's gonna have, you know, fuck-ups along the way. But even if it doesn't, even if this turns out to be a perfectly fine adaptation, even if it turns out to be a really good adaptation, you're still gonna end up with an adaptation of Yu Yu Hakusho that is 90% similar to the original. Like, yeah, it'll have, uh, like, like I said, newer animation, uh, it'll have, like, newer effects, uh, it'll have a different soundtrack, which might not even be as good as the original soundtrack, uh, it could have poor directing. You know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong that can just make it just not even live up to the original. And for what? A handful of minor changes. And ones that aren't even, like, major things. It's not like, you, it's not like, um, like Full Metal Alchemist, where the original Full Metal Alchemist anime, uh, was, you know, a, like an incomplete adaptation and they changed the ending and they did all this other stuff to it. You know, this is, we're talking about, like, an adaptation that was fully adapted. And you're just going to change a few little minor things in the middle. You know, a lot of people try to compare this to Hunter x Hunter, where, oh, well, Hunter x Hunter got remade, and nobody complains about that. Well, first off, people do complain about the Hunter x Hunter remake. But Hunter x Hunter was a different situation where Hunter x Hunter wasn't fully adapted. Hunter x Hunter stopped at Greed Island. And even the Greed Island adaptation was like an OVA. Like, the original TV stuff ended uh, at, like, York New City. So there was still a lot more story to tell, especially the Chimera Ant arc, which, by a lot of people's uh, opinions, it is the best arc of Hunter x Hunter. So yeah, like having that adapted, that creates a whole new experience that's offering the viewer something new. This is not like the same thing, like uh, 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 Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You know, it it, it you know the the original adaptation. Deviated halfway through. This gave people the official, you know, like a, a more manga accurate uh, depiction of the story. You know, even though I prefer the original series, I still think that the, that the remake has merit because it is telling a different story. Uh, uh, Helsing versus Helsing Ultimate. Same situation. Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal. Sailor Moon Crystal has been a clusterfuck of a fucking production in the beginning, but at very least, it is a different way of telling that story. Now if this now if they wanted to remake Yu Hakusho and just retell it in a whole new way. Make it feel like a whole new series, but still use the building blocks of the original, like you know, the same characters, the same similar plot lines and villains and like concepts at play, but retool it into something kind of new and fresh. You know, like maybe just, you know, I don't know, make it cool and hip like fucking Bleach was, but have it not go to shit like Bleach was. You know, just you know, that would be fine, but what people are asking for is just, just remake Yu Yu Hakusho and make it prettier. And I don't understand why people would want that. I never want that. Like, and it's not even like I'm against remakes. As I said, like, I'm fine with, uh, like, the Brotherhood remake. I'm fine with, uh, Helsing Ultimate and Sailor Moon Crystal. I think these all have their own unique va uh, values to them that make them completely separate products from the, uh, original shows that they were being, uh, original adaptations that they came from. You know, and, like, and the only reason I'm against the Gundam remake is that it's going to be, like, a 90% retelling of what was in the original anime. So it's just, so you're gonna see, like, the exact same thing, but prettier, and, like, I, I feel like that doesn't have value. You know, like, 
Like the only the only thing, the only type of people that shit has value to are the people who are just extremely superficial. They don't care about techniques and animation. They don't care about like uh, like like the blood and the sweat that went into the production and like the, like the the specific artistic elements uh, of animation. They just want to look prettier and not even necessarily prettier, but just look newer because somehow newer equals prettier. I don't. Like I said. I don't like I don't like the idea. I never want to see it remade. And also, I never want to see it continued because I always see that one come up a lot too. Shouldn't Yu Yu Hakusho have a continuation? Wouldn't it be cool if they made more Yu? Ha- no, 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 no. Yu Yu Hakusho is a perfectly self-contained series. Like that that series, the, by the finale, it had taken you to the far ends of the fucking spirit world and the demon world. And you saw everything and you saw like the upper echelons of power. There was nowhere else to go. It wrapped up all the character stories. It is fine. Never fucking remake Yu Yu Hakusho. Don't fucking add more to Yu Yu Hakusho. It's fine. Stop trying to add more. Stop, stop being fucking greedy and wanting more. Like, like Yu Yu Hakusho is great because it fucking knew when to end. If you add more to it, you could just end up with a bullshit fucking adaptation. Or a, not adaptation, but a fucking bullshit sequel. You end up with a fucking Dragon Ball Super. Nobody wants another Dragon Ball Super. Except for like the five fucking idiots who keep telling me how great Dragon Ball Super is. How wrong I am. Fuck those people. They're wrong. Dragon Ball Super is terrible. But... Yeah, like I, I don't want that to to be Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, you can end up you can end up with a good Yu Yu Hakusho sequel. It's not impossible, but it's also very unlikely. And and a lot of people would argue it's like, well, you know, it's not gonna hurt the original. Yes, it will hurt the original if you make more of it. Like a remake won't hurt the original. A sequel will hurt the original because then that becomes a part of. The official story. And, like, when people go to watch the anime, they'll watch Yu Yu Hakusho, and then Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, whatever subtitle they fucking slap onto it. And then that's going to color people's opinions of just the narrative as a whole. Because that's still going to be part of, like, the legacy of Yu Yu Hakusho would be this fucking shitty sequel series. Or this mediocre sequel series, or fucking movie, or whatever. Like, honestly, if they're going to adapt any, any more Yu Yu Hakusho... I don't know, like, do some of, like, the little side story chapters that never got anime adaptations. Do some stuff like that. That would be alright, but for the most part, uh, yeah, never fucking make more Yu Yu Hakusho. It's fine. It was, it was perfect the first time. Don't fucking make more of it. Don't try to fucking remake it. Uh, unless you want to do, like, a full fucking scale reboot, and you just, you know, you, you're gonna make something new out of it, and give it, like, a new tone, a new feel to it. Make it something that, like, feels like a new product, but is still, like, the classic Yu Yu Hakusho that people love. That's cool. Like, TMNT's been doing that shit for a goddamn 33 years, and it's working just fine. But unless you're gonna go that route, I don't see the point of a Yu Yu Hakusho remake. Just fucking drop it. 